In this video, we look at recent monthly growth in Canadian metals production. Canadian Mining Report is not a financial advisor. This video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. Canada has been reporting monthly production and shipment value for gold, copper and silver for the last few years. Year-on-year -year growth in the combined shipment value for these three metals peaked in April 2021 at 118.4%, but has slowed since to 23.9% on average in the year to May 2022, and was near flat or up just 0.5% in the year to May 2023. The majority of the shipment value is gold, at 69.1% of the total on average since June 2020, with copper at 29.7% of the total and silver a marginal contributor to the total value at 1.2%. Gold production and shipment value have increased over the past two years, with production up 0.8% in the year to May 2022 to 15,727 kilograms per month and 2.1% in the year to May 2023 to 16,057 kilograms. Shipment value jumped 24.6% in the year to May 2022 to 1.15 billion Canadian dollars and has still seen relatively strong 7.1% growth over the past year to 1.23 billion Canadian dollars. Copper production has declined over the past two years, down 14.2% to an average 43.8 million kilograms per month in the year to May 2022, and dropping 7% to an average 40.8 million kilograms in the year to May 2023. However, shipment value still rose in the year to May 2022, up 14.2% to an average 521 million Canadian dollars on a rise in the copper price although it has declined 14.2% in the year to May 2023 to 448 million Canadian dollars on the decline in production and the copper price. Silver production growth was near flat in the year to May 2022, up 0.5% to an average 24.3 thousand kilograms, but has declined 16.7% in the year to May 2023 to 20.2 thousand kilograms. Shipment value rose 12.5% in the year to May 2022 to 21.6 million Canadian dollars on a gain in the silver price. And while the silver price remained relatively strong in the year to May 2023, shipment value dropped 14.7% to 18.4 million Canadian dollars because of the significant fall in production. For more on the macro picture for metals and junior mining stocks, Click the link in the description or bio below to go to www.canadianminingreport.com.